Testing, one, two, three, one, two, three, testing, testing. Finally testing out without a party, one, two, three, one, two, three. Still testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Alright, it works. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Minecraft stream and I'm I don't know why I'm waiting in front of a crossing. I guess it's waiting for this train to go, but it never moves. Obviously. So for the tutorial this weekend, mostly it was supposed to be yesterday on Saturday, but I did other other things and yeah, it was such a nice day yesterday, so I just like, eh, I don't want to stay inside. I'm going to go outside. And that's what I did. And then I, and then I couldn't do the tutorial because this train wasn't ready, this train wasn't ready, and I, I haven't even started that one yet. So I was going to do three trains each Saturday or Sunday. So for the first train we have is a, is a successful and most popular the Amtrak F forty PH in the phase three scheme in the phase three scheme. Mostly, yeah. It was like this is like a crafty fox video, but I just made it I just made it a little bit better. I made it bigger. I changed it up a little bit. I literally added the phase three paint. This paint with the blue, the white or the smooth quartz slab and the red concrete and then banners there because I could not fit those things over there because I had to work on the cab yeah and the second train we have is the via RDC and now this was hell to build this was like going into hell and staying there for a day to work for Satan yeah that kind of hell because it took so long because I had to get everything right. Especially this. This is ugly, but it took a long time. And then here are the Amtrak. Here's the Amtrak Dome Heritage Heritage car. And I think it's like... Do they have diner dome, do, dome cars? Because it's like a diner car. And I made an upstairs part for the dome car and a bottom layer thing. And yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's get into the tutorial, shall we? Alright, so the things you will need to build the Amtrak F40PH is nether brick stairs, oak wood slab, I mean dark oak wood slab, tripwire hook, clay block, blue concrete, red concrete, beacon, black concrete, smooth quartz slab, and many more. Later on that, sooner thing. Alright, first you want to get nether brick stairs. And want to put three right side up nether brick sl stairs like this. And then grab black concrete, make a row of three behind the stairs. And then, and then a row on top. Basically five blocks long like this. Should, should look like um, a really small T. And then on these upside down, right side out L shapes right here. When at upside down nether brick sta stairs like that, on both sides like that, and then on the middle of the nether brick st uh, stairs, add the dark oak wood slab and the trip wire hook on the sides for the coupling. And now we are gonna grab bla uh, black concrete again and make this one, two, three. Actually, no. Why am I doing it like that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold on, is it ten? Hold on, I'm gonna start that real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. So twenty-two blocks long and make it make it three block slides wide so basically a three by twenty two and then on the top I don't I just destroyed that rail you want to make the top three what what is happening Five, um, you want to extend it two more blocks on each, one more block on each side on the left and right side so it can be five blocks long and three blocks long at the bottom one, two, three, like that. 
and then do the same thing we did to the front we just whatever these are we just put upside down nether brick stairs and now you want to grab stone slab or you can even grab a stone brick if you want so stone brick slab we're gonna place two on the sides like this two nether brick slabs on top of each other in the middle and two on the side again and now on the sides of these right here where you can see the wood planks or the wood, wood slabs right there you want to get smooth stone slabs and place it on the side of the black concrete like this and do the same for the other side All right so it should look like this so far it should look like sort of like a table like a or like a deformed train or some sort and then you want to place one two three four five blocks long of clay block in the middle and then blue concrete on top and then a beacon on the in the middle and then you want to grab smooth quartz stairs and add it on the sides of the beacon and on the side actually no not the stairs not not smooth quartz stairs smooth quartz smooth quartz you can just do smooth quartz two 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 smooth quartz slabs on top of each other on the sides of the beacon like this and the slab on the other side like that and then you want to extend the clay block all the way around the locomotive except where the stone bricks are and leave one one little thing in the middle for the doorway and just continue it on the other side just like this now we're gonna add the door because now it's gonna be too complicated to do it so you wanna grab if you still have your stone smooth um not smooth stone brick slab and now you can get stone brick stairs so you, you wanna skip away from the front right here from the plow starting from this slab right here one two three four so four so four slabs and then right after the four slab punch out these two things right here the slab and the clay upside down stone brick stairs and slab at the bottom and make it two more upside down stairs high so one and two and do the same for the other side upside down stairs slab stairs stairs and slab and then place an iron door on top of it and then in between here you want to extend the blue concrete all the way up to the doorway like this and then right after this court this smooth quartz sl uh, slab right here just fill in the back of it like this actually no screw that not that not that don't do that don't do that and then after behind it we're going to add what's it red red concretes behind the um the smooth quartz stair not stairs the smooth quartz block like this and then slab in front of it like this to create sort of like a sh um I don't know how to pronounce it. And then you want to add a row of clay behind it. So one row of clay like that. And then another row of clay like that. And another row of clay like that. And then you want to grab dark stained glass, uh, black stained glass. Right after the slab right here, you want to place two like this. Clay in the middle and two more stained glass at the side and then one clay but one clay um black stained glass no what am i saying i'm mixing up my words because i haven't done a tutorial in like a week so after this black stained glass right here you want to add a clay block and then the same thing so clay block black stained glass like that and then um, inside of the cab like this you see, you'll have you'll see a two by three you just want to punch that all out for the cab we're gonna do that later though and then we're gonna extend the blue concrete all the way around until right here 
right to the back like this and then continue it on the other side and then you want to add two clay, clay blocks on top of the bla um, top of the blue concrete like that so like this and then you want to get red concrete and make a diagonal so you might want to place it on this block right here and then just extend it out one to the left like that and just extend it all the way to the back just to line up with the blue concrete like that and then do the same for the other side as well and then right on top of the blue concrete you want to add smooth quartz slab top of the blue concrete do the same for the other side to create the phase three paint or livery or whatever the hell they call it like this so your train should be looking like this so far sorry if I sound like I'm gibberish and then you want to go back to the front and you'll see these two and you see these two red concretes and nothing between it so you just want to add a clay block in, in, um, in between them and you want to grab a light gray carpet and basically fill in this two by three and those two by three square inch over here so like this and now on top of the on top of the slabs you want to get clay block and place it and place the clay right on top of the slabs like this if, if I gotta do that and then and then um remember how we stopped the blue concrete and the red concrete up to right here that now you want to make a one two three four so a two by four um, horizontal going up like that and do the same for the other side and the middle just do two clay blocks going down to one two like that and continue the same thing on the other side like that and now you want to grab black concrete and nether brick stairs I'm gonna place three black concrete in the in the you want to go to the front and place um, three black concretes on top of the windows like this and then nether brick on the sides going all the way to the back and then just same thing just extend the black concrete all the way to the back as well Alright, so your so your Amtrak locomotive should be looking like this so far. And now we are going to what should we do now, I guess? Um all right, let's work on the back a little bit. So don't get rid of all this, but just put it in your inventory like that. Just store it away. Grab in iron bars, um, iron door, stone button stone button oak sign dark oak sign actually dark oak sign and dark oak fence gate and then place two bars um, in between the doors like this and then place an the iron door in the middle like that and then two iron bars on the side and then on the left side of the door of the iron door you want to place stone button only on the left side not the right side and then right on top of the door on the left and right side. So above this stone button right here. Add a dark oak sign for the number plate. And then on top of, in the middle. On top of the door like this. You want to place a dark oak fence pointing that way right there. <sighs> so it should look like this so far. And while we have the stone button, just go inside the locomotive real quick and place a stone button on the other side so you can get in and out of your train. Same for the front, right on the right side of the door in the front side, you want to add a, a stone button and just place it basically same thing. Do the same for the other side as well. And only on the right side, not on the windows, because I don't, oh, you can not place it on the windows, but not on the windows. Do not place it on the windows. Now you want to want to grab obviously bedrock and ladders for the vents. 
So we're gonna work on the vents real quick. So you wanna skip away from this button right here. So after the button, one, two, three clay blocks after the button right there. One, two, three. Then after the third one, place two bedrocks and ladders on the side of them. And, and skip another three. One, two, three. Do the same thing. Skip two, but add three. Two, three. And put ladders on the side of those vents. And do the same for the other side. Let's work on the back. After this, actually no. So three away from the button. One, two, three. Two, two bedrock, ladders on the side. Skip another three bedrock ladders skip and skip two bedrock ladders like that all right so i'm going to say this now just place a loom right next to your train or locomotive because we'll meet we'll be needing that clearly if you see that right there we'll be needing it um now we're gonna work on the wheels a little bit. So, clear your inventory if you want to, but grab hoppers, if I could find them. Hoppers and nether brick slab. While we're at it, just grab black concrete and ups and um, nether brick stairs. Just to, yeah, just do that. And then away from the um, the plow right here, you wanna add two hoppers and nether brick slabs in the middle if you want and then hoppers on the other side and then one row of nether brick slab only one row so three and then another two hoppers on the other side and then slabs in the middle if you want to just like that and then skip one after the wheels you want to add a one a one two three four five six seven three by seven of black concrete so one two three four five six seven and then upside down nether brick slabs not upside down nether brick slabs nether brick stairs and same for the back two skip one away from the plow Two, two hoppers, slabs in the middle, uh, hoppers on the other side, one row of uh, slabs, two hoppers on the other side, like this. And slabs in the middle and do the same thing. Alright, so your locomotive should be looking like this so far, and now we're going to add things on the top now, so you just want to get dark oak trap door, and we're just going to add other things. Dark oak trap door dark oak fence gate dark oak sign a torch for the headlight uh just place a loom down i guess all right so now you want to go to the back the back and place one two three four five six o dark oak trap doors and skip two and place two like that and then right in the middle, right here in the front, just place a dark oak fence gate pointing that way, a torch on the bottom of it, and two dark oak signs on the sides. Like that. And also, I will be not doing a stream next Saturday because it is someone's birthday, and yeah, I'm going to spend it with them. So no stream Saturday, so don't get your damn hopes up, okay? Sorry, don't be a baby and just whine in the comments. Alright, so back to the video. Your train should be looking like this so far, a locomotive. With a phase 3 paint scheme like that. So, as I mentioned before, grab your loom. And now you want to get... Um, what did I get? Just get a blue banner... And some red dye. Blue banner, red dye. When it go into the loom and place your banner like this, then your 
basically your red dye on the inside so don't do this whatever it shows the border thing you want to do where it, like it shows like the top the top the top of it like this not the shorter not the shorter um, thing like this the bigger version and then get your banner like that and then on the back side you like right here and right here place your banner right there right there right there right there under the button as well like that and under these on um, under these window and the clay block right here like that and then right on top of the and then right next to the beacon on the left and right side like that and same thing on the other side all right that's all f not all for the f40 ph because we still have to do the cab actually so clear everything you have in your inventory and the stuff that we are saving because we don't need that unless we do I don't care that much all right so now you want to grab jungle wood planks for the cab and just fill this bottom area in it with it because we want to clear that up or I mean I want to clear that up actually what do I do for this then on the row where the buttons are like right here at a at a diagonal like this and then what stairs did I grab for dark oak no was it spruce what did I get for it all right so you want to get um what was it stone brick stairs stone brick stairs you want to get stone brick stairs and place it only in the middle and like this space right here just fill it in with jungle wood like this all right now for the cab you will need um gray carpet <clears throat> gray carpet smooth quartz stairs stone slab stone button and a live a lever Stone button and a lever or lever, as I call it. And then you want to place three stone, stone, stone slabs like this, and then smooth quartz stairs on the sides like that. Actually, don't. Maybe don't place the slabs, the slabs first. Just stairs first, and then slab. And then a button in the middle like this. And a lever pointing this way, like that. And all this area you have here, just fill it in with gray carpet. All right, so that's all for the EMD F40PH for Amtrak. Oh, jeez. This one was, this one, this one, I, I don't even want to explain how hard it was. Oh, this, this is going to take a while. Clear everything in your inventory. The things you will need for this is, geez, nether brick stairs, smooth, smooth slab, smooth stone slab, dark oak slabs, not, um, not, I was about to say orch, not a case, not a case of slab. Uh, next you want to grab black, uh, I was like, I was going to say black and brown, so I mixed it with brown, brown, yeah, brown terracotta, yellow, yellow wool or concrete, however you want it, stone buttons, stone buttons, we're gonna do the banners later. Um, what else? Um, acacia log, an iron pressure plate, or I think it's called weighted pressure plate. Yeah, weighted pressure plate. Um, and light blue stained glass, like that. Then you want to place two. You want to place one stone brick stairs on the side like this pointing to each other like this like like on the left side pointed right on the left side so on the right side pointed left and then you want to grab I don't know why I mentioned this nether brick slab and place it like this not like that just place it like this wait hold on was it like this how 
I was supposed to place it. Nah. Do the same thing on the other side. And then you want to grab st smooth stone slab and place two of them on top of each other like this. An acacia log and a, and a weighted pressure plate on top like that. Now we're going to try and make this sort of O shape right like this. So just place an upside down. Whoops. An upside down. Nether, nether brick stairs on top of each other like that. Sort of like an O shape like this. Should look like this weird thing. It should look like a nutcracker thing. Not like the actual nutcracker from Christmas though. Like a cracker for nuts. And then you want to grab your dark oak wood slab for the coupling and place it right on. Place it where the acacia log is like that. And then on top of these uh, nether brick slabs right here, place brown terracotta. And then brown terracotta on the upside down, upside down slabs, uh, stairs, nether brick stairs like, like that. So three uh, wool, yellow wool things on the, on the, I can't speak today. On top of the brown terracotta that was on the slabs, the one, two, three. And on, on the top of the brown terracotta for the upside down stairs, you want to place two like that. Two wools only, not three. And then right on top of this brown, whoops, on top of this brown terracotta right here, get a stone slab and place it on the other concrete like that. Then you want to grab, jeez, light gray, light gray wool like that and place it right after the acacia log like that and then a yellow concrete on top of it and then a blue light blue stained glass and a yellow concrete on top like that so the rdc should be looking like this so far or rail diesel rail diesel call rail diesel cars not rail not diesel um whatever the hell they were called bud rail diesel cars whatever they were called and then you want to place what what did i place in it behind it you want to place three blocks long of <sighs> black concrete and i have to look at this design again because it was hell Right after the, um, the, um, the light, light gray car, not carpet, light gray wool, you want to place it three blocks long like that, and then you want to make it, so after, like, you create, like, the sort of U-shape around the light gray wool, you want to play, want to make, want to place black concrete, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, 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 or you want to be simple and make it 3 by 28. I think that's it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. So yeah, if you want to be simple, make it 3 by 28. And then... At the end of it, make a uh, light gray wall, yellow concrete, yellow yellow wall on top, light blue stained glass on top, and then a yellow co uh, ye yellow not concrete, yellow wall on top of it, and create a sort of U shape around the the um, light gray wall like that. So it should be looking like this so far. It should be looking stranger than Stranger Things right now, or stranger than Gravity Falls. All right. So the train should be looking like this so far. 
or the RDC. Let's work on the back, shall we? Now, after that, we must... Ah, oh, crap. I messed it up. I messed it up. Yeah, of course I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I messed it up. Of course I did. Of course moi had to mess it up. Ah. <sighs> All right. Ah, oh, crap, I forgot. Just erase what I did right there and place another light gray wool in front of it like that and then do the same thing we did to this one. Yellow wool, light blue stained glass and yellow wool. And then right here, I think I can do it. You wanna do basically the same thing we did to the front so just grab, not not the pressure plate, what am I doing? Make it like a weird freaking O-shaped thing like that, what we did to the front. Um, smooth, smooth stone slabs, two of the, two of them on top of each other like that, an acacia log, and a weighted pressure plate, or like the, or if, or as I like to call it, an iron pressure plate, but they were too lazy to name that. Hmm, I wonder why Mojang, or Mo Yang, or whatever the hell your name is. And then you want to place your dark oak wood slab where the um, acacia log is like that. And then you want to recreate that O shape again. But before we do that, grab nether brick sta uh, nether brick. How am I always making um, stairs and slabs into the same thing? I mistake stairs for slabs and I make and I mistake I can't even speak today. Jesus Christ, what's wrong with me? And I mistake slabs for stairs. So you want to place a, st a slab right next to the stairs like that and make it sort of like an O shape. So place brown terracotta on top of the slabs like that and then upside down nether brick stairs like that. So it should be looking weird like this and then right on top of the upside down nether brick stairs place brown terracotta and then two wool on top of the brown terracotta like that and then three on the outer edges like this and then right on top of the if I could get it right on top of the uh, brown terracotta add stone buttons like that All right perfect so it should be looking like this so far Okay, thank God. And now it's time to add the... Oh, jeez. And then right after the stairs on the bottom right here, the stairs right here where the, stone, where the smooth stone slabs are, place three brown terracottas behind it and do the same for the front too. Like that. And now, since we do that, we're going to work on the front so I don't mess this up. We're going to add... No, not this. Not this. Uh-uh. You want to get... Uh, what did I get for this? Hmm. Okay, so you want to get up... Uh, not up. You want to get polished andesite stairs and polished andesite slabs. And then, right where this brown terracotta is, right there, not, yeah, brown terracotta, place an upside down um, polished andesite stairs. And then you want to destroy this block right here. You want to destroy this brown, um, black concrete right there. And place an andes, uh, polished andesite slab, on, like, right on top of the brown terracotta. Do the same for the other side. Upside down polished andesite stairs and then polish andesite slap like that. Huh <sighs> jeez. I need a little take a little break just to see something because this all this talking is making me tired and stuff like that and Oh god. No. No 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 this no this cannot be happening. <sighs> Never mind, forget that. 
All right, now in the process of doing this, do the same for the other side like we did to the front. Upside down, polished andesite stairs, same on both sides, and polished andesite slabs where the brown terracotta is. Like that for basically like to get up. And now you wanna grab stone brick stairs and stone brick slab right after the upside down stairs right here like diagonally like literally diagonally up want to place an ups, uh, upside down stone brick stairs like that facing this way on both sides and do the same for the uh, front two or the back and then you want to get you want to grab the stone brick slabs and play and connect the back to the front or the front to the back whichever way you're on or whatever I did not enjoy this this was the worst thing ever especially on the Amtrak F40PH I enjoyed that too but it just it took so long for the design and also I'm pretty pleased with how the RDC turned out Real real diesel cars yeah RDC's turned out because I thought they were gonna turn out garbage it actually kind of looks like a real life or real um uh via via rail coach car but an RDC All right now you want to grab for the special effects or thingy majiggies you want to grab blue concrete and light gray wool and right on top of the upside down stairs and slabs, place the place the light gray wool all the way to the back and, or to the front, but not where the stairs are. And do the same for the other side as well. All right, perfect. Now you want to grab a andesite block or polish andesite. Yeah, polish andesite, and on the front, uh, right after the two, uh, right after the the the, the plat thing right here, place two polish andesite blocks like that right after it, and now you want to grab for the windows. I know it's a little weird, cobblestone walls and black stained glass pane. So two black stained glass pane, cobblestone wall, same thing cobblestone wall same thing cobblestone wall same thing cobblestone wall same thing cobblestone wall so you want to basically do this one two three four four times and then right after the fourth one add the two black stained glass panes and then polish andesite block two st black stained glass pane cobblestone wall the same thing all the way to the back now again But now, when we get to the back, we're going to leave a three block space like this. And you want to grab, basically fill out, just maybe just clear out one space for the block of gold. So in the middle, you want to place a block of gold for the Via, Via Rail logo like that. And then two polished andesite blocks or polished andesites on the side like that. And now you want to repeat this thing, but it's a little different. You want to do the same thing, so add one, two, three things. Yeah. Want to add one, two, three, four, five, six, six things of uh, black stained glass. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then after the sixth one, you want to place the polished andesite block. A black stained glass pane, uh, polished andesite block, and just do the same thing all the way to the back. And then right on top of the windows, you want to place a blue concrete for the blue stripe they have.
I don't know why I just did that real quick. Um, so the locom so the RDC should be looking like this. Almost there, we're almost cutting it. And now, let's just maybe not clear all their stuff in the inventory if you want. You, I'm gonna clear it though, cause it'll be much easier. This might be a little confusing, but listen to me out loud. You need a white bed, smooth stone slab, light gray carpet. I've never used a bed in a train build before. And cobblestone stairs. All right, on the corners of the front, you wanna add light gray carpet on the sides and then smooth stone slabs and then grab dark nether brick slabs and then place it right right in between these uh, yellow wool things and then place the bed on top of it like that be careful not to sleep in it then you want to grab an oak slab you want to connect the blue the blue stripe all the to the yellow wool so do that and then place the stone slab smooth stone slab right on top of it and then we want to make it a little bit diagonal like that. Just a little bit diagonal like that. So after this one right here, you want to make it a little bit a half block taller. Like that. And then right after it, place, you want to grab light gray wool and place three light gray wools behind it. And then a cobblestone stairs like that. So perfect. Now we're going to do the same thing to the other side. So light gray carpet. Smooth stone slabs. Nether brick slab. Wood slab. More smooth stone slab. Diagonally up smooth stone slab. And do the same for the other side as well. And then a bed. And then three light gray wools behind it like that. And then basically you want to extend this to the, want to go back to the front and extend this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven blocks further like that. And make a three by eleven. And extend the cobblestone stairs up to there as well. But not too far. Alright, now this is going to get a little weird too, so... Let me just go over the things we need. We need... Just get rid of all the things we probably don't need. So, get nether brick stairs. Stone brick, st stone brick stairs. Uh, gray wool, light gray wool, actually. Bedrock for the vents. If I could get the bedrock. Um, a note block. Flower pots. Um, levers or levers. And coal ore. And polish andesite block or whatever you want to call it. So right after the cobblestone stairs, place two polished and polished andesites like that. And then you want to grab the coal ore and place one, two, three, four, five of them like that. And two polished andesites on the side like that. Do the same for the other side as well. Five ores. And now uh, you want to you want to place three light gray wools behind the first polish andesite like that. Three three stone brick stairs on both sides like that. And then you want to place diagonally. You want to place one more stone brick stairs and two more nether brick stairs on both sides. Stone brick stairs again. And then two more nether brick stairs. 
and then one more sto stone brick stairs like that. And then right after, for the front side, at, right after that, you want to place one, two, three bedrocks like that. Two musical, whoops. Um, maybe just fill this bottom area in with light gray wool. That's much easier. It makes my life much easier. So two two note blocks, and then on this on the side of the first one, uh, two flower pots, and then right after this one, I want to place a lever going that way, and then fill all of it in. Just fill all the in betweens in, like that. All right. And then just extend the cobblestone stairs all the way to the other side as well. And also extend the gray wool all the way to the other side too. Alright, when you have done that now, we're going to work... On the back because I feel like it uh, we are going to clear our inventory because these are some odd stuff dark oak fence gate and a wither skull so right after the bed right this like this you want to place nope three uh, you want to place a dark oak fence you might want to get light gray carpet for this you might want to, uh, and then you want to place right on top of the bed, just place a light gray, um, light gray carpet, and then, um, a, I don't know how to explain it, actually. Actually, don't do that, don't do that, and then right, like, now we're going to work on the sides, left and right sides. So we're going to point the left, the right side like this, open the gate, do the same for the other side, open the gate, and for that side, do the same thing, open the gate. And now we're just going to get get the bed again. Just get whatever block you want. And just place it. And just place a dark oak fence gate right on top of it like that. And then just place whatever block you used with the bed again. For the horns because it has two calves, one on each side. Do the same thing, we, thing that we did before. And I just destroyed that. I don't know why. But I'm going to get my light gray wool again. And just fix that and whatever. Alright, perfect. So the horn should be looking like this so far. Don't forget to put the bed back. Alright, now for the bad part. We're going to be doing the wheels. This is excruciating pain. Uh, so for the things you need for this is a gray bed, hoppers, brown terracotta, yeah, brown terracotta, and yeah, that's basically it. And then right after the stairs right here, you want to place one, two, a three by two of brown terracotta like this. And the hoppers on the side like that. And now you're going to want to listen to me very carefully. If you put these on rails or whatever, just delete two rails after that. And place two brown terracotta things like that. And place a bed right on top of it. Oh, and bear it back. And then do the same thing. All right, so it actually works. And then you want to grab an anvil, anvil if you did use rails, and just place it right on top of the bed, like that. Then you want to do the same thing, but you just want to place the brown. You want to place the brown terracotta in between the beds, and do the same thing again. Three by two, hoppers, and hoppers. And now let's do the same thing we did to the front and now we did to the back. 
So three by two hoppers, two hoppers, um, uh, two break two anvils, brown terracotta, gray beds on both sides, and then brown terracotta in between. And then, yeah, do the same thing again. And then hoppers on the sides of the brown terracotta. Also, don't forget to place the, the brown terracottas with anvil. Because I'm not having brown terracotta for, wheat, for rails. All right, now, clear that inventory. Get the stone brick stairs, not the stone brick stairs. Get the stone brick slab and get the nether brick. Oh God. And the nether brick sta uh, I don't know why. Nether brick slabs. And yeah. Um. All right. Now you want to go to the front. It could have, if I could find where the front is. Skip one right after the wheels and add a three by three uh, stone brick slab. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then skip to place three, um, three nether brick slabs in the middle. So one, two, three. Then skip one, add two nether brick slabs. And then skip one, add one, two, three, four, five nether brick slabs. Skip one, one, two, whoops. One, two, three, four, five. Skip one, add one, skip one, add one. Skip one, add one. And skip one, add two. It should leave like a, a two gap. Did I do that right? Ah, oh, crap, I did it wrong. All right, this is not right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, skip one, one, skip one, one, skip one, two. Okay, like that. All right. So that's it for basically the out. No, no, that's not the out. That's not it, actually. So you still want to get another loom. You want to get black dye and gray dye and a yellow banner. And you want to get a loom. And then you want to place your yellow banner inside your black dye and then there should be a line for the left side and right side do the left side so that's one get another yellow banner if you already got them maxed out get another yellow banner do the same for the other side as well and now we're gonna do the loom again take out the black dye and add an another two banners oh crap damn it well I'm gonna do that again <sighs> black dye one like that Right now, then put the, then put back the gray dye in and put the yellow banner in. And now you want to make the border outline. Wait, what did I do with this? You want to get yellow dye too. Never mind, yellow dye. And then 
you want to place the banners in yellow dye for the border outline and then take out the and then put back in the banner and take out the yellow dye and then and then add the um, the top half of the um yellow gray ba uh the yellow banner to be gray and then get and then put back in the yellow dye and make a border around it like that and those are your windows so basically put, uh, place it on the outer edges and then on the left side like that the right side nope right side like that so it should look like this that's ugly that's like pretty ugly do the same thing outer then inner outer and inner like that then you want to basically clear everything in your inventory you have or whatever <sighs> well I just need to get something all right now for the inside interior you want to grab um oh crap uh dark oak wood stairs Spruce fence gate, not spruce fence, not fence gate. White, white carpet and gray carpet, and as well as stone bricks, stone bricks, yeah, stone bricks, not stone brick blocks. And then right after the thing right here, like literally one block after it, add two stone bricks on top of each other like that. Uh, start on the left side or right side, any any side you want. So oak stairs like that, and then skip one across from it like that, and then just do the same thing behind it. Place another dark oak, dark uh, not not dark oak, oak stairs, oak wood stairs, spruce fence gate, stairs behind stairs, spruce fence gate stairs behind stairs spruce fence and just basically just continue it all the way to the back <sighs> this is really tiring And then when we get to the gold block right here at the back, place two stone bricks stacked on top of each other like that. And basically just repeat the same thing you did to the left side or right side and do it to whatever side you're on now. And then right on top of the spruce fences, you want to add white carpet. Just for the table. I wish I could just fast forward this, but no, I can't actually. Can I? All right, now that you've done that, or now have we done that, you want to place all the in-betweens with gray carpet. Like this. 
all the way to the back or the front or whatever side you're on. Be right back. All right, I'm back. And that's how you build the hellish RDC via rail thing. All right, now this train I actually enjoyed building because it was fun to build. Let me just give a little tour. Yep, I'm pretty sure I did this at the beginning. Right now for the things you will need for this is um gray gray wool, yeah, gray wool. Stone. If I could find the stone. Stone, polished andesite and polished andesite slab. So polished andesite slab and polished andesite. Blue, red, and white concrete. Blue, red, white concrete. Um, stone brick sta uh, slabs. Uh, and an iron door. All right, so now we're gonna start with the this side. We're gonna start with the front. Want to place one block, three uh three block wide, gray wool, one block above the track. And then you want to grab white, not white, stone brick slab, like this, and place it three in front of it like that. And then one block under the gray con uh not gray concrete gray wool like this and make it one block extending like that or one slab extending like that for the coupling and then you want to grab your stone and make this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven 29 blocks long and then once you get to the 40 blocks long just right after the right after the stone ends just place three block wide of gray wool and make it a three by 39 of gray not gray stone like this And then you want to go back to the front and place right after the gray wool one one polished andesite and now you want to grab um polished andesite stairs upside down polished andesite stairs for the how to get up you can do this on any side you want but not on both sides so i'm only going to do this on the left side or the right side yeah right side or left side if you're looking this way so upside down upside down um polish and side stairs and slap at the bottom and then on this side just place two more polish and side on the sides like this and then if you're making the door just add another um polish and side on the other side and extend this all the way to the back including where the gray wool is right there and do the same for the other side and now, what, like we did to the front for the coupling, we're going to do to the back. So, one, two, three. One at the bottom right here, and like that. Alright, and now, for the first layer, we are going to add, um, actually, it's a little bit of a different design. You can choose any way you want, but I'm going to do this just for fun. I'm going to grab cobblestone wall and stone brick slabs and place one two three cobblestone walls on top of each other and stone brick slabs in the middle 
And then on the bottom, you want to grab red. Hold on. I think I have hiccups. You want to grab red concrete, white concrete, and blue concrete. And then if you're going by the door, uh, place one blue concrete, skip, and then place the iron door, and another blue concrete, and just extend it all the way to the back. And do the same for the other side, but not not the other side tonight. It's quite yet. Now for the other side, do the same thing after the after the polished andesite where the gray, where the gray wool is. Punch out that um, polished andesite block and place an upside down polished andesite stairs and slab at the bottom. And then blue concrete and then iron do iron door and then blue concrete all the way to the other side again. And now you want to grab black concrete. And then you want to grab and then place it right after the um, bedrock, uh, not the be bedrock, but the cobblestone walls or just around it for the behind. You can either do this design for the gangway or you can do this uh, design right here. Your choice. But for now, I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna do both of them. <sighs> okay, like that. And then you want to for the windows you want to go back to the front front and then right where this black concrete is lined up with add one white concrete like that and then two more after the door same for this side two more one two and then skip two two white concrete skip two one two three four four white concrete skip one one white concrete skip three one white concrete, skip one white concrete, skip three concrete, skip three what three white three white concretes, skip two, one white concrete, and then the rest is just concrete. And now for this side do the same actually no not the same thing. Instead of the four instead of four of these like this Delete the one like that, so it can be three white concretes, just lined up as like the other side as well. And then you want to skip two, skip two, one white concrete, skip three, three white concrete, three white concretes like that. Skip three, one white concrete. Skip, yeah, skip three, one white concrete. Skip three, one white concrete again. Skip one white concrete. Skip three, another white concrete. And then just add in um, one, two, three, four, five white concretes after the windows. So after this one, one, two, three, four, five, like that. Skip one white concrete, skip, and then another two white concrete, another white concrete, so then skip two, another white concrete, and then just fill the rest of that in. And then right on top of it, just put white, white concrete, I mean red concrete, all the way to the back of the front. Now you want to grab black stained glass paint panes. You want to go to the front and then just basically fill in all these holes with it. Can I wonder if a dome can be a diner car as well? I'm pretty sure it can. Cause I've never seen the Canadian before. I mean, not the real Canadian. I am a I am a Canadian. Just the V Rail train trip. 
the Canadian, like literally the Canadian. If you're a qualified Canadian like me, you will know. All right, when you're done filling all those do all those holes in with windows, it's time to do the roof. And for that, we will need um, polished andesite and polished andesite slabs. And then you want to go back to the front, place one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, polished andesite slabs on top of the red concretes. And then polished andesite. All, and then you want to place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty. Twenty blocks long after the first polished andesite, so 20 blocks long of polished andesite, and on both same sides as well. And then the rest on top of the white, con on the top of the red concrete, it's just slabs. Like that. And then in between this, you want to add polished andesite, of course. but up to right where the polished andesite starts. Do the same for the other side as well. We have three by 10 for the front. Like that, and then right on top of where it stops right here, place three blocks of Polish and a side on both sides, like that. And then you want to grab black stained glass and three right after the polish andesite, and then three diagonally to the side. Polish andesite, three polish andesite, three polish andesite, three polish andesite, three polish polished. Actually, no, no polish andesite. And then same thing, one, two, three, polished andesite, 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 like that. And then where the windows are, you want to make it exactly diagonally, like that. <clears throat> and then the polished andesites, basically the same thing, but making a diagonal, like right on top of it for the dome. Nine fourteen, and do the same thing should be like that so far just a fancy dome car all right perfect now we are going to I guess add the doorways so where the whatever side you chose right after the um, cobblestone wall, you want to place an iron door. Do the same thing right after the black concrete, iron door. And guess what comes in front of it? A stone pressure plate. Do the same for the inside so you can get in and out, especially for the doorways for the diner. For these two doorways right here, like that, to get in and out like that. Right now, let's just see if we'll need any of this. Oh yeah, 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 yeah we'll need this. All right, so right on the tip where the uh, gray concrete lines up with the, what you call it, white concrete, um, gray gray wool. Just place a stone slab, not a stone slab, polish andesite slab, directly under it. For some reason, I don't know why. And then skip away from the door. One, skip away from the door. So right after this uh, polished inside right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right after the sixth one, just place polished andesite slabs under it until about 
do the same thing actually uh, about the light gray wool or the gray wool and then right after the door like one block after right after the door one two three four five six and then same thing all right so the so the coach car the dine actually no the diner the dome diner car should be looking like this so far and now we are, we are going to add the wheels i guess so you want to just just erase everything just basically just clear out your inventory get a hopper and black stone brick slab and then want to go to the front and then two things after the gray wool you want to place one, two, so one, two after, you want to place two hoppers, so one, two, one, two, slabs in the middle if you want, and then hoppers on the other side, like that, and then a row of, whatchamacallit, blackstone slabs, and then two hoppers again, and then slabs in the middle if you want, and do the same for the other side as well. Skip two, one, two, one. slabs in the middle, a row, slabs, and then hopper, slabs, hopper, like that. So it should be looking like this so far for the wheels. And now you want to clear everything out. You want to get the stone pressure plates again because I probably missed a lot of spots. Don't forget to do the in inside and outsides of the... Um, the gangway things just to get in and out. All right, now things we will need for this dome car and everything else. We will need dark oak stairs, oak oak fence, torch, white concrete pot, a flower pot. Okay, flower pot while I'm here. White concrete for some reason. Uh, brown carpet. Um, you want to go to the flower section now and grab the whatchamacallit? What is it? No, not that. You want to grab the, the blue orchid and the poppy then right now for oh yeah also spruce stairs as well all right now right after the doorway we want to place uh basically an l shape of white concrete for both sides actually flower pot and then poppy inside like that Pop inside, and then do the same for the other side. L shape, L shape, flower pot, and blue orchid for the flowers. All right now, right after it, we are going to place. Okay, that sounds simple. We're going to place. Um, a dark oak wood stairs, oak fence, dark oak wood stairs, another dark oak wood stairs behind it, oak fence, and dark oak wood stairs. And do the same for the other side as well. And then right on top of the fences, you want to add brown brown carpet and then on the left side or the right side or however you want it oh shoot there's not even supposed to be ah dang it two tables on the left side so destroy the thing on the left side and one two three blocks after the um this the table right here 
you want to place um, a spruce, whatchamacallit, spruce stairs and a polished andesite. Whoops, my headset just came off. And a polished andesite block, so polished andesite block, um, spruce stairs, polished andesite, two polished andesite blocks, spruce stairs, and like that. And do the same for the other side as well. One, two, there's only one table. Uh -huh. Two tables like that, brown carpet. And three blocks after the one set of table right here. One, two, three. Stairs again. Uh, spruce stairs, polished andesite. Spruce stairs, two polished andesite. And spruce stairs. And now you want to get oak slab. And fill in all the in-betweens of the thing right here. Up to where the dome sort of ends like this. basically filling like this whole flooring with oak slab but not past this right here this window over here okay this is gonna be the top dome car thing and now let's design the bottom before we get to the top shall we all right then right after the thing like out like see the slab right here just extend the slabs all the way to the bottom of the top like that do the same for the other side as well. And now we're going to work on the back a little bit. So you want to, basically it's going to be a little different. You're going to place the stairs right like this. The dark oak st wood stairs like, like this. And then I'll leave a little gap, the table. And leave a little gap, the chair. Oh god, it's 9.23, where's the time going? Mm-hmm. Right, here's where it goes. Uh-huh. And then just do the regular thing we would do for the thing. Only just no, just do the same thing like this. All right, perfect. Now, just on top of the fences, we are going to add a brown carpet like this, and then we are going to fill in the bottom with gray carpet. All the like spots where you see stone, just fill that in with um, no, um, just fill that in with gray carpet. Now for the best part of this, the dome. Now for the dome, um, I'm gonna go on this side. 
So right, like two blocks right after the stairs, just do the same thing. Two blocks after the stairs, okay, no piece of cake, no problem, no problem ammo or whatever. So one, two, and then stairs. Just repeat the same thing we did to the bottom. Or you can just do regular schmegular, regular schmegular, um, basically just diner thing. One, two, same thing. <sighs> How does Crafty Fox do this, I wonder? He literally just... How does he not get tired of this? And then right on top of the fences, just add... Literally the brown carpet. Just do it. Alright, and now for the top, just fill that in with gray carpet. Alright, now just clear your inventory and get the torches. And place it, like, just place it where you think it needs light. But not too much light. Because, uh, yeah, just maybe not too much light at all. Uh <sighs> mostly place it on all the white concretes. And if the carpets are blocking, just place it literally right on top of it. Alright, um it looks like we're done now. We just have to add the the things to the um the lights to the dome now. And yeah, there's no room. So in all the pots and sites, just add the um, torches, and that's all. All right, um, all right, this is it, I guess. Let me just get rid of all this stuff now to say proper C or whatever. All right, this concludes our stream today on how to build the Amtrak Heritage dome diner dome diner car the via rdc and the amtrak f40 ph it's been sort of hell doing these locomotives not this one it was a pleasure doing this one and if you have any requests for f units or coach cars i can do just leave it down in the comments and i'll see you guys next time